and welcome to a brand new episode of Forkful of Noodles. I'm your host, Chris Mohan. Hey, as you might notice in this episode, you're probably going to hear some people laughing and, and, and kind of chatting in the background uh, with me th throughout the episode. And that's because it was filmed, uh, recorded earlier in front of a live virtual stand-up comedy audience. Uh, I do uh, these shows called the Citizen Revolution Live Virtual Stand-Up Comedy Shows, which become episodes of Forkful of Noodles. So if you're interested in being a part of that live virtual audience, you totally can uh, by clicking the ticket link in the description below. We are going to have a bunch of these shows throughout the year, especially because I am uh, unfortunately not able to tour and go around the country like I normally do. So I've got a bunch of these live virtual stand-up comedy shows each week brand new material each week we also find a brand new grassroots organization to uh to donate to uh to to partner up with uh this for this episode we partnered up with the pittsburgh mutual aid and if you would like to donate to them there is a link in the description for that as well uh and uh if you would like to get early access to full episodes of Forkful of Noodles, both parts into one video, the, the multi-part episode. If you'd also like to see uh, what the Citizen Revolution uh, the shows are all about, the discussions that we have at the end of these shows, uh, you can do so by becoming a sustaining member. And you can go right onto my website, krishmohanhaha.com, and you can become a sustaining member there. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, become a sustaining member. You get early access to these full episodes. You get uh, unreleased stand-up comedy tracks, uh, storytelling content. You get some bonus merch. You get early access to, to my live comedy albums when I drop those. Uh, you get a bunch of cool perks, uh, and it helps the quality and quantity of these shows to improve as well. Uh, now, uh, thank you for, for tuning in. The positive in all this, though, is that in the last few years, there have been a bunch of coal companies going completely bankrupt. The coal company Black Jewel went bankrupt in 2019 and owed miners a back pay of $6,000 each. And they were in clear violation of the Warren Act, which claims that a company must give 60-day written, uh, a 60 day written warning about mass layoffs. Now, the miners protested and led strikes blocking train lines till the company paid them, which they eventually did. And by the way, the United Mine Workers of America is also shifting its union prowess into the renewable sector and various other uh, job markets as well, because they have seen the writing on the wall for coal for several years now. So one, one former coal miner told me, he was like, you want to make environmentalists? I'll tell you how to make environmentalists. You take 500 coal miners out of the mines and you put them to work in some renewable energy project. Um, you know, give them something to do. Yeah, so I think something that's really interesting is uh, the, the UMWA, which is the United Mine Workers of America, uh, which used to be one of the most powerful unions, um, is now spreading itself into areas that are not coal mining. Uh, you know, they have uh, they have UMWA mem members that work at hospitals and UMWA members that work in, in, in other industries besides coal. And uh, the goal is for, you know, a lot of folks in the UMWA is to have a presence in the renewable energy sector. Um, so a lot of people are, are pushing for that and using this sort of strength of unions, you know, this collective strength to push for that. And look, the coal companies you know, apparently couldn't see the writing on the wall because, uh, guys, it's so dark. It's very dark in those mines. You can't see writing <laughs> inside of a coal mine. And look, besides, the CEOs of these coal companies aren't going into those mines, you know? They, they, don't, they don't have the right outfits to really go oh. into those coal mines, right? <laughs> guys, Armani is not making overalls. They're just yeah. not... They're they're not proletarian enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but look, the spirit of the striking miners is alive and well in West Virginia. It's just moved over to a different job nowadays. It's moved over to teachers. In 2018 and 2019, we saw a bunch of teacher strikes that were asking for better wages and better treatment. 
And since technically they're considered federal employees, this was illegal for them to do, but it was also illegal for miners to strike because of yellow dog contracts. This didn't stop either group of real rednecks from fighting for what's right. And therein lies the spirit of what West Virginia really is. It's a hotbed for labor action to drive change. It's citizens from the rank and file coming out and saying, we don't believe in and nor will we follow these laws that are in place. And until they change that, we will not contribute to an unjust, unlawful, and tyrannical system. And the message spread all around the country. There were strikes in LA, Colorado, and various other industries joined in on these strikes, right? Now, the corporate school boards decided to use old tricks and tried to split the teachers up. In Denver, the school boards threatened to call ICE, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, on immigrant teachers. In Denver, the school board threatened the union that if they went on strike, the city would report the immigrant teachers to the immigration authorities. This was obviously done to intimidate, to scare, to split the teachers between those born in the United States and those with one or another immigrant status because they have a hold on the immigrant. They can intimidate and scare the immigrant just like the authorities in Denver did and split them away from other workers and use them against the other workers. And that's been your fork full of noodles for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Make sure you get notifications from us. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Get the word out about this show. Uh, content like this is often suppressed on a lot of the more mainstream corporate uh, video platforms. Uh, so, uh, and I think you guys know which one I'm talking about. Uh, so I depend on you guys to, to hit that like button, hit that share button, get the word out about these, uh, uh about these videos, about these shows. Uh, and, uh, there's also multiple different ways that you can, you can support a show like this. Uh, if you listen to the audio version of this show, you can write a review. If you listen to the video version, you can leave a comment. All of that stuff helps it, uh, get, get seen by more people. Um, but one of the things um, that you can do to financially contribute is either make a one-time donation or become a sustaining member. Uh, sustaining members get uh, early access to full episodes of Forkful of Noodles. You get early access to albums. You get unreleased stand-up comedy and storytelling material. Uh, you get a bunch of cool stuff uh, every single week delivered directly into either your email or on the Patreon page. Various different ways where you can become a sustaining member you can become a sustaining member uh on on patreon on paypal on directly on my website itself uh you can become a sustaining member on on Bandcamp. various different ways that you can do it uh this just helps shows like this grow and uh it, it just makes the quality and quantity of the show get better and better uh, i'm going to be doing a bunch of of these uh, these live virtual stand-up comedy shows, uh, as I mentioned at the top of the show. So uh, go to my website and uh, and check out when the next one is, especially if you want to be a part of the live virtual stand-up comedy audience. Go to krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com to check out all of the, 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 the live virtual stand-up comedy dates the uh, sustaining memberships. My album is available on, on my website as well. There's a bunch of cool shit on there. Uh, we're we're, we're going to be throwing up a bunch of videos on this channel, um, various different kinds of videos, videos like Forkful of Noodles, more current events related videos, more looser ranty videos uh, as well. So there's a ton of content that comes out on this channel. Uh, we have, we're going to have some interviews that are going to be coming out as well. So uh, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're getting notifications. Uh, until the next one, thanks for tuning in.